right here, and these two figures are from YY Kawaii. I bought this, I was to say years ago, I think, possibly, but I've like kept them sealed, and I don't. I sort of did do a video, but then I decided just to do a new one in the video that I'm actually opening them. So, <clears throat> this is where who I bought them from. It's a very cute business card. So do you find them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and perhaps YouTube as well? But this is an old business card, so I don't know if they have a new one. Or anything so it's been a while so yeah so <clears throat> these are the figures so this is the espresso extra motions well I mean, that's what it, that's the English it says down there otherwise it's all in Japanese or whatever so this is obviously the Asuna and the Kirito I'm pretty sure that they've released a different version of him as well but I can't quite remember but I, I got this version, so <clears throat> let's open this one first, shall we? I probably could have done with putting it on a longer tripod, which I have under my desk, but I didn't think of it until now, and I can't be able to get it out. So, just opening the tapey bits, but that you can see it. If you can hear it, then. Good on your ears. Anyway, I mean, I guess I could put it on top of something. Hang on. Let's see if it'll go on top of this. Really oh, should have done this a while ago. is another question. Hope it'll stay. Anyway, so I guess this is one that's on the top. That's on the top. And it's like a crane symbol, so I guess it's still like a you normally would win it in a crane game, I guess, maybe. It's um Bandai Spirits. Um, yes, well, I see there's a Bandai and Ben Presto symbol on the box, see? And, uh, anyway. of pieces, but uh, there we go. And let's move the out of the way so we have space to put this together. Okay. Oh, I have to cut it open. Okay, okay so yes, this does look like a base. So there's that. So, um... Ah. She's on pieces. The front of her hair. Her head, with all her bangs. Her body. Her lower body. Her dressy cake thing. Dressy cake thing. Mm, yes. So that's that. Then like, there's like the two motion things. The two blue motion 
swirly things. We got the standy bit and her sword and scabbard. Okay. So I guess I'll have to keep on looking at the box just to make sure I've got it right. Okay, that's That's interesting, okay. It's because she's as it shows on the box. She's at a slant. So that should be interesting. So let's put her up there and open this thing. So this one motion thing. Second smaller motion thing, which goes on the top by looks like it. We've got her sword. Very nice. That she holds. That's her scabbard that goes on her waist. And the same thing. Which, I mean, I don't know if it goes in there. It might go in there. I mean, it's possible. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I guess that's kind of maybe holding something. I don't know, I can't see from this direction. Okay, so let's open this up and see where the bits are supposed to stick. Lots of pieces. Here's the thing on the side, by the looks of it, on the side of the cape a bit. So let's just put that there. And the bottom half of her would probably go here, wouldn't it? So I guess this, ah, for support, would be laying here then. Like, that. Her upper torso. Her hair is done very nicely. Is it like a slight glue speck or something on it though? Very nicely painted. So what else did you see as her head? Just slip her hair on. There, now she looks like a proper human head. So let's see this. Okay, so is that okay? So I guess that would go there. There. Don't know if you can see, but anyway, her cavey bit or whatever goes through there. Ah, and the bottom sticks down here in this hole. Secure it in place. Then we're just gonna stick her head on sideways. I 
supposed to go flusher than that, or? Ah, there we go. So let's have, let's put, um, ah, the scabbard goes on the torso. And the body back bit. See, the scabbard goes there. And where the hole is. So I just place that in there. Ha. Huh. Voila. And she's holding her sword. Seems like just easy to slip it on. There we go. Then we put her on the rest of her body. If I'm getting it in the right direction. Yep. There we have it. So then, ah, we have a we have a space in her hair for this one, I believe. Am I even in camera? So for this motion one, then we have this over here for this motion one. Is this the right way? Should probably check that. So look. I guess it could go either. I think it's this way. Ah, yes. It's a fitting. Okay. So there we have it. I want more pieces than I thought. Very cool. Hmm. Let's see, I think that's right. Going by the picture. Too far that way. Mm. I guess it's right now. Cool. In her Knights of the Blood Guild uniform. It's much more detailed, well, at least the face is much more detailed than the one I have over here, which is a very old one. But I really need to sort out my desk some more. But, um, yes. So this is also done. So I'll put this down here. Move her to the side so I have some space to 
put up Kirito. Hopefully this camera doesn't fall over again. If you noticed, these figures are from a different video. If you want to watch that or whatever. I don't know if that was the first Kirito figure I bought or not. Probably not, actually. Maybe not. I can't remember, really. But, um, yes. Very lovely. You do over they are. But anyway, that's not what we're watching. Loads of pieces for him, too. Yay. And his cape thingy is also flying about. Okay, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Alright, keep the picture over there for reference, out of the way. Okay, so. Here we have the base, and it is black, as opposed to Austin's white base. Two scabbards, two swords, okay, so, uh, I can't remember how to pronounce them, but, anyway, Loshni bits, same blue, we got the stand thing, his bottom half, and his top half, and this one, his cape is all one thing. So there's no extra things to stick together. And he kept his hair on. <laughs> okay, so thing, which I'm guessing goes over here, okay, does it go over here? So I don't think it goes anywhere else, so it should go here. I think. It's got some plastic sticking off, so they didn't really cut this properly. Uh, let me get an exacto knife and take it off. So we got his, his bottom half, <laughs> his lovely boots. So like, like last one. This would, like, I think, be like this, so like, this stand would support his waist over here. will stick thing for one of the swords scabbards. Oh, actually it looks like the swords stick on top of each other. Not from the picture, so we'll look at that in a second. Well the scabbards stick on top of each other. He's holding both swords. Because both swords have hands attached to them. So, bit. Smaller wavy motion bit. Which goes on top and looks in it. 
we got two swords along with hands. That looks at like this one is this hand. Oh, nice fit. So just there. And this side is this hand. So this one would go diagonal like this to go on his back. scabbers are on his back. Let me get that exacto knife so I can scrape the extra once I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I opened the drawer to get the exacto knife and it turns out it was right over here. So I as you can see it's fully flush now. I just kind of scraped off the excess plastic that was on there. So let's put them together, shall we? So just place them like that, like so, all the way down. So next up, we have put this. That way, so put the motion thing on up the KB bit. I'm pretty sure it's this way. I guess. Hmm, this guy should have been. Obviously, one way. Not even in the frame when I did that. I have no clue. Right, so this one. Seems to go forward. Is this even the right way? I'm sure it's the right way. Yeah, it's this way. Aha! Uh -huh. So there we have it. It's finished. Very cool. Yeah. 
very awesome. So glad I decided to get this up. Mm. There it is. So these are these two. Do go check out Waiwai Kawaii and Waiwai Kawaii Merch 1 for more decadent phone cases, anime figures, and merchandise, as it says, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. So thank you for watching, like I for more, really don't for notifications, over and out. So cool!